a young man battling terminal bone cancer, journeys to San Giovanni Rotondo seeking a cure. However, he returns home healed, but not in the way everyone expected. Stay tuned to hear the story. Welcome back to our YouTube channel following Padre Pio. If you're new to our channel, Padre Pio was a Capuchin friar, mystic and miracle worker whose intercession is still very powerful and active today. We publish videos and shorts five days a week, so follow us to find out more about the life of this fascinating saint, and you will be amazed at what Padre Pio can do for you, a family member or a friend. I'd like to take a moment to thank the members of our Protected Children of Padre Pio program for your continued financial help and support. You make these videos possible for everyone. We thank you from our heart. May Our Lady and Padre Pio reward you abundantly. Today's story is sourced from the book Pray, Hope and Don't Worry – True Stories of Padre Pio by Diane Allen. Within its pages, we find a remarkable story about a young man named Romero Gutierrez who came to Padre Pio in the hope of curing his painful terminal illness. Listen to this. Romero Gutierrez, a 22-year-old from Mexico, was diagnosed with the disheartening diagnosis of bone cancer. He sought treatment in California, but not much could be done for poor Romero. Now, some of Romero's friends were planning on a pilgrimage, first to Lourdes and then to San Giovanni Rotondo, to meet the living saint, Padre Pio, and Romeo wanted to join them. But bringing Romeo along would be no easy feat, considering his bad state. You see, Romeo had a healing wound at the time, and used crutches to move around. But sometimes, if he was in pain or got tired, he had to be carried on a stretcher. However, despite his condition, his friends agreed to bring him along and promised to help him on his journey. Now those are some good friends. The group arrived in San Giovanni Rotondo, and the next day, Romeo waited in the sacristy to meet Padre Pio. However, upon seeing Romeo, Padre Pio's face reflected sadness as he bestowed a blessing. One of Romeo's friends was anxious to know if Romeo could hope for a miracle. Padre Pio answered with one word, Paradiso paradise. In other words, Padre Pio was telling them that there was no cure for Romeo. However, something profound did happen that day. It wasn't the miracle everyone was praying for, but it was a miracle nonetheless. Romeo was healed in spirit. He himself later shared that when Padre Pio, frail and suffering, stood in front of him and blessed him, he lost all fear of dying. Furthermore, this meeting with Padre Pio took place on September 22, 1968, just one day before Padre Pio's death. Romeo returned home to Mexico a new man. He was happy and grateful because he knew he had received a profound spiritual healing. His faith, now stronger than ever, infused him with great courage in the face of death. He even asked his friends not to feel sorry for him, saying, Don't be sad, soon I will be with Padre Pio. Romeo died peacefully three months later. Diane Allen concludes this story with a comforting quote from Padre Pio. Remember the words the Divine Master spoke one day to the Apostles, and which he says to you today. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Yes, let not your heart be troubled in the hour of trial, because Jesus promised his real assistance to those who follow him. End of story. Now, since this story was essentially about a suffering man reaching sainthood, I would like to conclude this video with a quote by St. Ignatius of Loyola, the founder of the Jesuits. If God causes you to suffer much, it is a sign that he has great designs for you, and that he certainly intends to make you a saint. And if you wish to become a great saint, entreat him yourself to give you much opportunity for suffering, 
for there is no wood better to kindle the fire of holy love than the wood of the cross, which Christ used for his own great sacrifice of boundless charity. Thank you for listening. Please do like and share this video to help our channel grow. And please give our channel a boost by continuing to watch another video. This will help with the YouTube algorithm. I have recommended some videos especially chosen for you on the end screen. Or just click on one of the links in the description below for a full selection of great Potter Pio stories. Or our playlist of Potter Pio thoughts for the day. And don't forget to enroll your Mass intentions for next Friday's Padre Pio Holy Mass. You'll find the link in the description below. And stay tuned for the next video on the life of Padre Pio.